Hi, in this video we're going to extract existing rivers using DEM. For this purpose, we use Saga GIS software. System for Automated Geoscientific Analyzes, Saga GIS, is a geographic information system computer program, used to edit spatial data. It is free and open source software. The software file is available on our Telegram channel for easy access, if you want to download it, we've placed the Telegram channel link in both description of this video and the YouTube channel. The software is portable and doesn't need any installation. As you can see, this is the Saga GIS software. To get started and for the first step we need to import a DEM layer. We've also placed the DEM layer on our Telegram channel for free to use or practice with if you wanted to. You can view the layer by clicking on it. At first place, fill sinks need to be done on the DEM layer. For this purpose, we select the terrain analysis command using the geoprocessing option. And in the preprocessing section, we select the fill sinks command. Here are several commands for fill sinks, one of the best of which is a method by Wang and Lu. In the open window, we specify some parameters. We select grid system. And select the dem layer. And the three specified parameters will be our output. Once we're done, we click on the OK. Dem no sinks was extracted. Flow directions. Watershed basins. In the second step, flow accumulation needs to be calculated. As a brief definition and according to ESRI definition, the flow accumulation tool calculates accumulated flow as the accumulated weight of all cells flowing into each downslope cell in the output raster. Grid system is selected. For elevation, we choose DEM no sinks. Based on your need, the flow accumulation unit can be determined based on cell area or number of cells. There are several methods in the methods section which are advantages of Saga GIS over other software because of these good methods in this section. We choose the deterministic 8 method. Flow accumulation was extracted as well. In the last step, we apply channel network. Based on the previous steps, we select grid system. For elevation, we choose DEM no sinks. For initiation grid, we select flow accumulation. Then we specify the initiation threshold. And finally click on the OK. The channel network was created in vector format. We lower the initiation threshold to better display the subrivers as well. For this purpose, we save the results of the last step and we delete these results to perform this step again.
Again we save the result of this step in vector format. Then we go to the ArcGIS software. Here we import the vector layers into the software. For a better display of the area, we import the DEM layer into the software as well. And for a better distinction, a proper color combination is chosen. To specify the rivers, we go to the attribute table of the vector layer. Using the select by attributes command, we determine the order of the rivers. In the symbology section of the vector layer, we change the display settings. Here the changes are displayed based on the main river. Main rivers are thicker and tributary rivers are thinner. As you can see, we extracted the rivers in the DEM layer. In your works, you can specify the parameters of river extraction from DEM more precisely based on your needs.